This project was a KTP and the way it works is that there's funding that comes from the government to support a business to collaborate with a university partner and the nature of the collaboration should be such that the business is transformed in some way and the university partner brings expertise to help with that transformation but also um, learns things themselves. Ultimately the goal was growth. Uh, we want to be able to do more brand vision processes in a calendar year off of uh, the same resource base, so we need to streamline the process, digitise it, so it was less resource intensive and less manual, but without losing any of the quality. As an academic programme in graphic communication design, the area of strategic branding was really unexplored uh, by us previously so it was an opportunity for us to learn from Fresh Britain but we could also see that we had expertise that would be valuable to them. The main goal of the project was to try and optimise and streamline the uh, Fresh Britain uh, brand meaning process uh, using art design uh, methodology and art design approach to do so. CSM bring to the project brain power, intellectual capability and importantly it was always from a different perspective than ours. What we were able to bring to this project was sort of our own ongoing internal dialogue about branding and kind of smash that together with um, what Fresh Britain is doing and what they hope to be doing and what their ambitions are, um, but also bring to the table um, some intellectual frameworks for um, kind of analyzing carefully awarenesses of technology and awarenesses of different sort of structures of kind of innovation and innovation in the branding and communication space. CSM brought an important outsider's perspective to the project. There was a sort of sense of restless criticality, I think, coming from um, the team at CSM and getting Fresh Britain to ask questions that they wouldn't naturally ask of themselves. Central St Martins brought a huge amount of energy at every level, different people bringing different levels of energy into the, into the project. When Bob and Sophie presented to us initially, I think we were genuinely surprised at the approach that Fresh Britain take and the, the methodology and the rigour of that process. What Fresh Britain bring is this knowledge and this experience over so many years of understanding uh, and reading between the lines of what stakeholders see for their companies and for their brands and being able to kind of synthesise it and to bring focus to it. Uh, Fresh Britain is a successful branding agency with a uh, desire to remain at the forefront of innovation. They brought a uh, sharp commercial acumen and know-how and, uh, and a deep understanding of the branding industry. We brought an open mind to be big enough to listen so that we could end up with a, a market-leading proposition, a future-facing proposition, the best-in-class brand strategy process. They were able to test out ideas on the fly. You know, they were really responsive to the things that Jordan was coming up with. But at the same time, they were able to work closely with her and really carefully consider um, the proposals put forward and think about how they could be refined and implemented. What we brought to the project was simply a desire and an ambition to get ahead of the competition. We don't know where the competition is. Uh, and in that knowledge, we've just got to keep going as fast and far as we can. So really a desire to get ahead through innovation. While working with Fresh Britain, having that outside objective perspective was really useful in trying to understand the way that Fresh Britain work and how it could be made better. Being a recent grad from CSM, I was able to come into the course and um, relate my experience as a student to what I'm now learning um, in industry and, and marrying those two together. So Jordan was able to take some structures that have matured over a really long period within Fresh Britain and have a lot of value but also have a lot of tacit aspects that aren't quite explicit. And she was able to communicate all of that value in a way that made everybody understand it more. It wasn't just about optimizing our process in, an, in a mechanical sense, uh, but it was more about elevating it in terms of quality. 
clarity and purpose. From my point of view, she hasn't just delivered the next stage for Fresh Britain born out of this process, but she's helped to lay the foundations for stage three, stage four, stage five. Jordan brought to the project a, um, a fearlessness, um, a relentlessness, and a kind of ruthless determination. She was effectively the nexus around which all the stakeholders had to coalesce. We have gained insights and knowledge around a field which is constantly changing. And, and I think the st strategic um, design is something for us that was not in the curriculum before. So for us it's had a really direct kind of outcome which is an input into curriculum development and positioning of a discipline. What I've been really excited to see is a definition of the process at Fresh Britain and making it uh, something that is available and accessible by more people so more people can engage and that means internally and making information and insights more, even more available to clients. We've got an enhanced process, we've got a set of digital tools that we can now deliver best-in-class brand vision processes. We can do it more efficiently, we can do it more effectively. I think we know ourselves better now. I believe that we understand our critical difference. I think for me, perhaps the most important outcome of the project was the strong sense of constructive alignment that was introduced to the Fresh Britain process. So Jordan was able to tease out the internal logic and make the connections between various stages of the process much more explicit and purposeful. Our experience is that any project with an external partner works best when the, the structure has enough openness to it to be responsive to what is emerging. What was interesting for us is that allowed us as an academic team to also learn in process things that we were able to, to pull into some of our curriculum development and our thinking around the discipline. The project was designed to uh, make a safe space to to question and to try things out and ask big questions and little questions. And there was that space that was available for it while Fresh Britain were still able to carry on with their client work and CSM was able to still develop their curriculum. Organically, we found out how to integrate key milestones of the project. That way, we get collective commitment, we get collective responses, we get collective prioritization, we get collective focus, we get collective impetus just when it's needed. This process is like herding cats and knitting fog. You're trying to corral creativity, and that's chaos. So the power of the methodology is it provides a bit of order to that chaos. It enables you to navigate the geography of the project without giving you the predetermined destination. For CSM, the, the experience has been uh, very enriching at different levels, uh, from being able to integrate elements of the project into the college in the form of uh, student uh, workshops, um, to expanding the uh, academic expertise um, around the larger area of branding and identity. Uh, the collaboration with Fresh has been incredibly beneficial to the GCD program at CSM. It's really enabled us to strengthen the way that we engage with branding as a subject, um, it's allowed us to broach the idea of strategy as a creative discipline. I think our unique proposition, now we know it, is much more at the heart of the business and what we do. Uh, I think it's now more clearly understood internally and externally, and it, it's much more purposeful as a result of that. The event that we're working on with Fresh Britain, which will follow the conclusion of the KTP is also really exciting because it proves to us that this is an ongoing relationship, that it's not just about a KTP which finishes, but it's about some of those questions, some of the challenges, some of the ambition that Fresh Britain and CSM share in leading where future directions and transgressions might be around this broad area of, of branding. For Fresh Britain, I, I feel, as an external observer, um, I feel that it has been a very introspective process that has given them confidence as an agency and has uh, solidified their, their USP. It's forced introspection on the business, so forced us at times to stop hunting. Um, but to introspectively start to farm and look and enrich what we do. So it's really nurtured our understanding of brands from our perspective. 
And in doing that, it's enabled the entire business to raise its game and have a new perspective on what we do.